My name is Abby Stopper, and I graduated from Iowa State with a major in English and Technical Communication and a minor in Classical Studies. Um, I just graduated this past May, May 2019. I was an open option major originally, and I knew that I liked reading and writing, so I took a literature course as a freshman, reading the basics like Hemingway and Faulkner and Poe. I knew that I enjoyed doing things like that, but I thought that maybe I could do more. And so um, as a sophomore, I started taking creative writing courses, um, specifically English 308, Write Like a Woman. Um, and in that class, I was reading short stories and I also got to start writing seriously for the first time. Um, but what was most pivotal in that course was the opportunity to read my peers' works and write commentaries, you know, critiquing what worked and what didn't. And I thought that the editing process was very rewarding. I told my advisor, I think I would like to go into editing because of all of the enjoyment I got out of the critiquing process. Um, and so she said, well, you might want to add a tech com minor. And that was also a very big decision because I later added it as a major. And I think that having both of those, English and TechCom, really helped um, refine all, all different kinds of writing. During my second year of school, I was still taking English classes, TechCom classes, and I learned about the literary journal on campus, which is called Sketch. I joined, it was basically, I mean, it's student run or student run organization and um, we get to basically do an inflated version of what I was doing in my creative writing courses. So reviewing submissions, talking about what needed to be changed in them and publishing. So I did that for three semesters. And I also learned through a peer in one of my creative writing courses about an editorial assistantship with a retired professor uh, from the journalism school. And I, I knew that I wanted to go into editing. I wasn't sure what kind, but I thought this might be a good way to get my foot in the door. So um, I applied for that and I ended up getting it. So just going back to that whole idea of you don't know what you're gonna end up with unless you throw yourself out there and apply for it. Um, it's not enough to just want something, you have to be active in, in, what, you, in what you pursue. So I started this editing job um, in Parks Library and I worked that for two years. And that was also very foundational for um, the work that I knew I wanted to go on and do. And so during my last year of school, my boss for my editing job actually said, hey, there are these amazing programs you can go into if you want, if you're interested in book publishing, you know, literary editing. So I started applying for these programs. Um, usually they're summer publishing programs, I guess is the best way to describe them. Um, and I, applied for one at Columbia University in New York City. I was accepted, I completed it, and um, learned a lot about the industry, uh, professional development, and what it takes to work in book publishing. All of that is to say that I never would have known about my abilities, you know, my ambitions, my drive, unless I had thrown myself into first creative writing classes, and then my work with Sketch, and then getting that assistantship job, you know, at one thing, really led to another and I never would have found any of them if I hadn't just found a path, set myself on it, focused on what I loved and what I thought that I could do and you know just believing in what my advisors and my instructors would my instructors would tell me.